Kit is the bane of triathletes' lives, and it's incredible how much we need to remember for three different sports. It is a challenge in itself just trying to remember what we need to pack. And in fact, if you've managed to drum up the motivation to get yourself to a beautiful open water swim location such as this, there is nothing worse than realizing you've forgotten that vital bit of swim kit. So whether you're new to the sport or indeed you just need a reminder of the things you need to pull out of winter storage, we've put together a vital checklist for you here. Once you have arrived at your open water location, be that here at the beach or say a inland freshwater lake or lagoon, there are certain bits of equipment you definitely need for getting in the water. And first up on the kit list has to be our wetsuit. I always use the wetsuit I raced in just to give me more practice in it. Usual range of neoprene thicknesses that those wetsuits come in. I was fine in that usually because I tried not to swim in super cold water. But if you do or you live in a part of the world where it is really chilly in there, a lot of wetsuit brands are now producing thermal wetsuits which come in far thicker grades of neoprene just to give you that much more protection against the cold water. Now on the note of extra protection once we get into the cold water, there are a few other bits of kit that we can bring along to make our swim far more enjoyable. And first up is booties and gloves which really help keep our extremities nice and warm because we do lose a lot of heat through those. Really useful bits of kit, but be mindful, most races do not allow us to race in them. We have to keep our hands and feet free of neoprene on race day. But one extra bit of warm kit that we can use on race day, and I used to use quite a lot, was the thermal skull cap. We lose a lot of our heat through our head, so these things are really excellent for just giving you that little bit of extra protection against that cold chill when you first get in. Now once you've got that on, the last little bit of essential is our cap and goggles that we need. I always try to have a nice bright cap over the top of a skull cap. Just for safety, somebody can see you a lot easier with one of these rather than a black cap. And then you need to think about your goggle choice. If like today it's a nice sunny day, then I'd have had something like this, a tinted goggle, which makes it a lot easier to sight and take your head out of the water with the bright sunlight. If it's dull and overcast or early in the morning perhaps, then a nice pair of clear goggles or ones like these that are a little bit of an orange tint. They just make things that bit brighter when your head's in the water and it's a dull sky above. So we have got all those vital bits of kit locked in for getting into the open water. However, before and after, there are some extra things that can just make the whole swim in an open water environment that much more enjoyable. First thing that I always try and pack is some Vaseline or petroleum jelly as it's called in other parts of the world. Rub that all around my neck, at the forearms, at the bottom of my legs and calves as well because that stops rubs and it also helps get the wetsuit off that bit quicker too. And on the note of things to apply, if it's sunny then it's not a bad idea to pack some sunscreen because if you're in there a little bit longer your face could maybe get burnt so take some of that too. Don't forget a little extra hand towel for when you're putting on that Vaseline because if the Vaseline gets on your hand and then you go and pick up your goggles, that's a recipe for disaster. I've been there before. Now, another thing for getting into the water is some flip-flops. Really useful just for making sure that you don't stand in any rocks if it's a little bit awkward getting into the water and then obviously when you're getting back out. And talking about once you get back out, it's really good to be prepared with your hydration and maybe some nutrition too because if you've been in there for quite some time, you need to be on top of that and have some calories. So. If it's a cold swim, it's not the end of the world to bring a flask and maybe have some nice hot coffee or hot chocolate, something to look forward to for getting out of the water. But don't forget general hydration either and just have some water as well. Perhaps you could pack some electrolyte or put that in there before, mix that all up just to be super careful and just pack a little bit of snacks at the same time. Okay, so we have discussed everything you need for getting into the water. I've also touched on the useful items we need for before and after our swim. But one other vital bit of equipment we need for during our swim is one of these, and that is a safety buoy. They almost always come in one of these bright luminous colors so that we can easily be seen when we're swimming along with this towing behind us. It is incredible how unobvious a swimmer is from the shore. 
just a little bit of leg kick and our arms coming out of the water really isn't very easy to see, especially if there's some subtle waves or chop in the sea. So always pack one of these. They're really useful for sticking valuables in, like your phone, car keys, that you might not want to leave on the shore if you're swimming on your own. So once we've finished our swim and we're coming back into shore, there are some extra really useful things for making sure our whole swimming experience is as good as it can be. Bring a really good big towel so you can get warm almost straight away. A jacket is never a bad thing to think about either because no matter how warm you might feel when you're in the water, I guarantee when you get out, unless the air temperature is extremely warm, once you take that wetsuit off, you're going to be cold. So also maybe think about bringing a beanie or a hat as well because as we said before with the swim skull cap for in the water, we lose so much heat through our head. So there we have it, all the equipment that we need to get out there into the open water for a safe and enjoyable swim. Now a lot of that kit that I had in the video today, the jacket, the caps, my towel, you can find it all in our shop. So head over there if you like the look of it and need some extra gear for your next open water swim. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, please hit that thumb up like button. Don't forget to click on the globe, subscribe to all the other videos on our channel. And if you want to see a video that was done about wild swimming, you can get that here. And for a video about open water stroke technique, you can find that here.